The Photos app for macOS 10 Yosemite is coming this spring, but Apple released it to developers and let us have a look to see what's in store for your images. I'm Jason Parker for CNET, and this is a first look at Apple's Photos app. The new Photos app will display your photos much like it does in iOS, letting you switch between moments, collections, and years. Also like iOS, you'll be able to click and drag to scrub from photo to photo on the wall. To edit a photo, you just click the Edit button in the upper right. Photos will have the One Click Enhance button, just like iOS, that automatically adjusts levels and brightness for you to get the best look. It also will have Rotate and Cropping tools. The app gives you a handful of filters to give your photos that retro look, or black and white, and a few others. The adjustment tools are also really cool because you have a choice of doing something the easy way or digging down into various adjustments for more specific changes. If I want to change how a light an image is, I can use this slider and you can see how the photo changes. But there are several changes happening behind the scenes. If I click this arrow, I can see all of the more minor adjustments like exposure, highlights, and shadows, and I can adjust these individually as well. The same is true for color and black and white. Everything I've shown so far is under the Photos tab, but there are four main buttons across the top, including Photos, Shared, Albums, and Projects. As this is a demo machine from Apple, I haven't made any shared albums, but the Shared button is where you'll see all the albums of photos you're currently sharing and the ones shared with you. You can create a shared album easily by naming it, adding friends or family, then add a comment. From there, you can add photos and everyone will be able to see and comment on the photos you add. The Albums button is where you'll find all of your created albums. A double click on an album brings up all the photos in the collection and another double click opens a photo. But also in the Albums section are Apple designed collections that will help you find the photos you want. Across the top here, you have All Photos, Faces that iPhoto users will recognize, Last Import, Favorites, and several other categories including the various video types. It's great for viewing all your panoramas, for example, and lets you look at them individually on a black background for the best experience. Next is Projects. Here's where you can get ideas for displaying your photos, or you can spend a little cash to order hard copies of your images in a bunch of different formats. There are things like calendars, greeting cards where you can choose what's on the front, inside, and back, and several others. The most striking I saw at Apple was the large hardcover book with two page layouts where the photos bleed off the page and it allows for different types of layouts. The Photos app will be a free upgrade that comes with the next version of Yosemite sometime this spring. I'm Jason Parker for CNET and this has been a first look at Apple's Photos app for Yosemite. Thanks for watching.